वेस्टर्न ब्लॉटिंग प्रोसीजर दिस इज अ प्रोसीजर ऑफ वेस्टर्न ब्लॉटिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सॉम्पल प्रेपरेशन देन जेल इलेक्ट्रोफोरेसिस एट थर्ड स्टेप ब्लॉटिंग आर ट्रांसफर एट फोर्थ स्टेज देर इज ब्लॉकिंग देन एंटीबॉडी प्रोबिंग एंड द लास्ट स्टेप इज डिटेक्शन हाउ वेस्टर्न ब्लॉटिंग इज परफॉर्म Usually, the choice of extraction method depends primarily on the sample size and the type of the sample, whether the analysis is targeting all proteins of a cell or only a component from a particular subcellular fraction. It depends on the procedure whether someone is studying all the proteins which are present in a cell or the person is studying a small component of a protein samples are loaded into separate wells and protein marker is also loaded the separated protein mixture are transferred to a solid spot for further analysis of the proteins transfer can be done in wet or semi dry conditions there are two type of the transfer methods in case of western blotting it can be wet it can be semi dry conditions semi dry transfer is generally faster wet transfer is recommended for large size proteins which are larger than 100 kilo dalton the fourth step is blocking that is a important step in immuno detection phase of western blotting because it prevents non specific binding of antibody to blotting membrane here we can see that how electrophoretic transfer is performed in case of western blotting this is the diagram of gel electrophoresis in which we can see that this is the buffer tank here is the gel along with the filter papers if we magnify this we can see that on the ends there is a spot grid here we can see that this is in black color then there are pads that can also be tissue papers then filter paper here transfer membrane that is in white color and gel that is in blue color so if we magnify this portion we can see that here is the gel this is gel and here is the transfer membrane so the bands or the proteins which are present in the gel it will transfer on the membrane so this is the diagram how the protein is transferred from gel on the membrane protein of interest is detected and localized using a specific antibody once the protein is transferred on the from the gel on the membrane then the protein is detected with the help of specific antibodies western blotting protocol utilizes a non labeled primary antibody then that is directed or checked against the target protein a species specific labeled secondary antibody is used that will bind to the primary antibody the most common antibody label used in case of western blot is hrp so once the protein is transferred from gel on the membrane then primary antibody is used then against the primary antibody secondary antibody is used and the secondary antibody that is labeled with the help of hrp the signal is detected when hrp is exposed to substrate solution in the final step of the immuno detection procedure here we can see in this diagram that proteins on the membrane after transfer from gel these are the proteins which are transferred on the membrane now 
against this protein primary antibody they are attached so this is the primary antibody now against the primary antibody this is the secondary antibody secondary antibody is attached to the primary antibody and primary antibody will attach to specific protein in the mixture of the proteins secondary antibody is labeled with hrp detection reagent reacts with hrp and generates light emission by which we can see that there is presence of particular protein in mixture of the proteins western blotting is a technique which is used to identify specific proteins in mixture of proteins